All right, to watch this video for Wednesday, March 13th. I did something, I don't know how long it's been since I've done this, um, but I did something today that I haven't done in a long, long time. Um, if you watch my videos, you know yesterday I took more than double my daily loss limit. Um, again, I, I, people probably listen to me saying, well, what a drama queen, right? He had a red day, big deal. But again, I broke my rules and... I rarely have red days, and then when I have a red day, and I'm gonna, just so you know, just so just to prove it didn't blow up my account, I always brag, right? I put my equity curve up that I'm really proud of, right? And I, I use it to say, hey, look, I'm a steady trader, and I get cocky, and I show it off, right? Because I'm proud of it. Um, this is what it looks like right now. This is for this year, right? January, uh, the first trading day in January, up until and including today. Um, anyway, what I did today that I haven't done in a long time, I didn't take a trade. I just stayed in chat and made calls that I saw for the room and I didn't take a trade. Now, I know there's guys out there that run rooms that never trade and they're just making money off the uh, subscriptions. Uh, to me, trading is more important than, um, than getting new subscriptions. I absolutely love trading. Um, but yesterday rattled me um, because I broke my rules. And even if I break my rules and I stay within my daily loss limit, I'm not very rattled. Um, and over the course, if this, was a, if this was a chart, I'd be buying this pullback, right? Um, Keep in mind, we're uh, barely a little over what two what two and a half months in, into the year, um, so I'm hoping this just by you know within a few weeks this just looks like another one of these hiccups. I have them right. I had one here, had one here, um, but this is this was my biggest loss in well over a year. Um, so why didn't I take a trade today? Uh, and I'll tell you exactly why. And maybe some people can learn from this, or maybe I'm wrong for not trading. You know, not getting right back on the horse, but. I didn't anticipate not trading today. I logged in this morning, fully anticipating trading today, right? Getting right back on the horse. But what happened was in the pre-market, I caught myself, I caught myself thinking, I'm gonna get all that money back today. All right, I literally caught myself thinking that. And so that, because of all the F-ups I've done in my trading career, right? Because of all the pain I've been through of trading death spirals, I've trained myself that if I ever start feeling like that, Right, like I'm gonna go for the big one, um, especially following a red day. I feel like I got to get it all back in one day. Um, I just put the brakes on, and so that's what I did. The fact that I caught myself feeling like I'm gonna get it all back today, I just shut myself down. I just said, you know what, Mike, you shouldn't trade today. So I stayed in chat. I watched charts all day. I made some calls. I'll show you some of those in a little bit. But um, this is still yesterday's loss. Right? Remember, each little tick isn't um, a day. It's a tr it's a trade. So. Uh, yesterday was just ugly. No trades today. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get back on the horse, but uh, no way I was going to trade after having that gambling feeling this morning. Um, okay, speaking of calls from today, real quick, I'm going to show you VVPR. Um, this early pop, I kept seeing it being kind of pumped on Twitter. Nobody could find news. Uh, then it pulled back, and maybe there was news, but I just didn't feel comfortable getting involved. This was a really nice move, by the way. And then it came into this lunchtime base, and when it started to get a little volume come out of it, we had the whole number two and the high of day wasn't that far away. Uh, I typed in chat the over two or through this two seller idea. Um, you know, then it popped nicely to 225, pulled back a little bit. I said, hey, now if it breaks the quarter, it might take out the high of day. Um, it did break the quarter, took out the high of day, did one little pullback, and then just absolutely ripped. But anyone that got it through two was never underwater. Um, and you can see some people took that. Um, so that was a pretty nice one today, and I want to give a shout out to Melissa as well. I already made a short video about it, but there's a screenshot of Melissa stalking HYRE over six. Um, the daily chart already looked good through six, but it did it in the opening like five, ten minutes, and then pulled. You can see how choppy things get, especially at the open anymore. But then it came up and hit six again. There's a big seller on the tape. Your worst case stop's going to be like a dime away, below 590. So anyway, let's, and, and then I ended up typing uh, H-Y-R-E over six or clean over six a little bit later. But the reason I typed that is because I saw Melissa's post and she put it on my radar. I mean, I know it was already on the watch list, but um, I really didn't see it without her post. And then it breaks six and ends up, you know, closing at its highs. And uh, like everything else, it's even a little bit higher in after hours. Um, just a great post though. You know, you're risking about a dime and it moved well over a dollar from there. By the way, HYRE um, is going to be on watch tomorrow. Um, 
I'll probably have that uh, VVPR on, is watch, on watch as well. But let me go into the watch list. This drop car, I think, is considered a sympathy. DCAR, considered a sympathy to hire. HYRE broke out today. Um, we put that on your radar, hopefully, yesterday. Um, and you've got kind of an inside day here. Let me tell you something. Now, I've watched this DCAR trade, and uh, the bids just love to just drop off of it. Having said that, I love the volume yesterday and the inside day today and the fact that today it topped out right at the half. You know I love half number and whole number breaks on charts that are in play. And I think you kind of have that here tomorrow, maybe through 450, knowing that then a break of yesterday's high would be 493 and maybe a squeeze, especially if higher HYRE continues. All right, so I want to watch that one. SAEX on it. You can see the bigger, longer term chart, these massive spikes. But now I'm going to zoom in and get these massive spikes out of there so these days aren't as scrunched together so let me zoom in and then you can kind of see it a little better um pretty strong close on this one uh, remember this gapped up two sessions ago on news of big contracts um it topped out at 550. it opened at 515 that day so maybe the whole number five comes into play tomorrow um and then you've got you know some catalysts above uh, i think this is a pretty low float stock Decent news. The gap was eaten alive, the gap up, but next thing you know, it's turning right back up. So that one's pretty interesting to me. GEVO, this one loves to get slapped down when it gaps up, but then uh, a few sessions ago, you had a pop to 260, kind of a quiet inside day. Today topped out at 251. Uh, we'll get over today's high. We might take out that 260 and, and take off. If I show you on an intraday basis, let me go to 15 minute candle so you can see both days. Big volume on this spike and then big volume near the close today. So. That one's worth watching. Um, let's see. AWSM was on watch today. Uh, it never gave a setup. I watched it run a little bit, but it just never gave any kind of a clean setup. Um, it's still holding up okay. I like the fact that it uh, uh, topped out today at 428. If we can get over that, maybe we make a move towards this 465 high and above that, you know, is kind of breakout territory. Um, I definitely like the looks of this chart, you know, after this gap up came down, held the eight day, and it's kind of curling back up. Uh, so I really want to watch this one, but uh, only a million shares traded today. So it, it's, it's one of those that um, when it gets going, it really gets going. Uh, but I don't try to play like, look, today, it just started grinding higher. Um, I saw this, but look, there's no volume there. By the time the volume comes in, it's already got upside shape. I'm not chasing that, right? So it never gave any kind of a setup and then just did this all afternoon but stays on my radar for tomorrow because I like the daily chart. KEG um, topped out back here at 433, kind of flagging along, and then today tops out at 424, nice volume, looks good kind of over this flag. You wanna watch that one. GLBS, that shipper that went crazy the other day, um, you know, kind of an ugly day today, but maybe a bounce play tomorrow. It, you know, it, a lot of people watching this, so if it can trade in a narrow range for a while and then break its highs, uh, I'll probably give that one a shot. We'll have to see what it looks like. I'll show HYRE again. I already said it was going to be on watch, but there's the, uh, it's hitting all-time highs, right? Because it's, it's a relatively new issue. So breaking out to all-time highs, um, I don't have any kind of, there's no catalyst on the chart because it's hitting all-time highs, but we're going to watch that one. ALRN, nice pop today. Pretty strong close. Worth watching tomorrow, ANY, kind of obscure. Um, there's nothing pretty about the chart, but it's kind of trying to break over a couple weeks worth of trading. Some of these low price stocks uh, have been moving lately. And if I switch to kind of 60 minute candles back here, um, February 20th, that had a pop all the way to 363 and then went right back down. But nice volume on that pop and then nice volume today for this stock. If you look at the volume sticks, Certainly some big relative volume today. So that puts it on my radar for tomorrow. VVPR, already talked about that one. Way extended. I, I doubt I'll trade this one tomorrow, but you never know. Maybe we get some kind of low risk setup. And then lastly, NDRA, big breakout today. Closing well off its highs, but still fairly strong. We're going to watch that one tomorrow too. We'll add some gappers to this list as well. Great teamwork and chat, everyone. We'll see you all tomorrow.